I have another flashlight review for you. This time it is the C3 from Wuben. If you're interested, keep watching. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that this flashlight was sent to me by Wuben for testing and review. I did not pay for it, but I'm receiving no compensation for the making of this video. Now, just a little bit of a backstory on why I accepted this flashlight when Wuben reached out and offered to send it to me. And basically it was because I had a couple of viewers comment on my last video for my the other Wuben flashlight that they were more interested in flashlights that had a tail cap switch than they were with a side switch. So personally, I prefer side switches to tail caps, but when Wuben offered to send this one to me, I thought it was a good looking model. It had good specifications. Yeah, I would take a look at it and share it with you. Okay, now what we're going to do is go down to the tabletop. Well, I'll go over the specifications for the flashlight. I'll go over its modes of operation. Of course, we'll get outside and do some testing, and then we'll close up with a few pros and cons. Before we go over the specifications for the C3 flashlight from Wuben, I thought I'd share with you what else came with it. So it did come in a nice, simple little cardboard box, along with instructions and warranty information a pair of spare O-rings, USB Type-C charging cable, and a lanyard, all good to have. All right, put those aside. Let's bring the flashlight back in. So let's go over the physical specifications for the flashlight, and it is measures in at 4.8 inches or 121.5 millimeters. The body diameter, and it is uniform all the way down, is one inch or 25.5, uh, 25.4 millimeters. The weight is 4.3 ounces or 123 grams, and that is measured with the battery in the flashlight. So the flashlight features an Osram P9 cold white LED. It is a 18650 lithium ion battery with a 2600 milliamp hour charge. As mentioned, it is a USB type C, which is on the outside of the flashlight, which is great. It does come with a dust and waterproof rating of IP68, which means two meter submersion underwater for one hour, and it is impact resistance to 1.5 meters. As far as the output for the C3 flashlight, it has a high of 1200 lumens, which will last for one minute before the heat protection circuitry brings it down to 500 lumens, which will carry on for another two and a half hours, and it will cast out to a distance of 179 meters. It has a medium rating of 400 lumens, which will last three and a half hours and a 50 meters distance. It has a low of 80 lumens, which will last 20 hours and will reach out to 10 meters. And it has an eco mode, which will last 43 hours and illuminate out to about one meter. It does also have a strobe, which will come in at 1200 lumens and an SOS mode, which will come in at 200 lumens. Let's go through the modes of operation for the flashlight. So it does have a tail cap operated switch, but it will still stand on and on a flat surface. There is no side button for operating the flashlight. So to turn the flashlight on, you start by pressing the tail cap fully. And this is on in the eco mode. And it takes from there a light tap to work your way up through the different settings. And then you can press while it is on quick light taps to gain the strobe, quick three taps to gain the SOS mode. Hitting the, the switch again takes you back to the last mode used, turning the flashlight off and turning it back on. It has a memory, bring, again, bringing it back to the last mode used. Two more features I want to mention before we get outside is that it does have a removable pocket clip. It is not a deep carry, but it works fairly well, but it is nice and stiff. And it also has a light on the site 
of the flashlight to indicate not only that you're fully charged, but will tell you when it's time to recharge and will give you charge indications while you're recharging. Having shared the specifications and features for the C3 flashlight, I think it's time to get outdoors and do some testing. All right, we're doing some testing of the Wubin C3 rechargeable flashlight. And I am out in the woods. I have it on the lowest intensity setting now. Uh, you know, it's certainly not enough for navigating through the woods at night. It would be great for doing chores right at my feet or right at my hands. So uh, enough light there. And of course, I'd be able to read with this. and I'd have the extended runtime of the battery. Let's take it up to the next level. So considerably brighter, good penetration into the woods. It is, appears to be more of a spot than it is of a flood, although I can see two distinct rings, uh, but they blend in quite nicely so that I do have a fair amount of flood to the side of the center and a hotter spot in the center. Let's take it up to the high. All right, yeah, that's, that's considerably brighter right there. I can see a long ways into the wood. Nice clear color rendition. Let's see if I can get up to the highest. There we go. Look at that. All around me. It's like daylight. All right. Impressive little flashlight for sure. Having gotten out into the woods and done some testing with the C3, let's go over my thoughts on it. So to begin, what do I like? Well, right up front, I like the beam itself. I like that it has a good penetration into the woods. It has a good flood with a nice hot spot in the center. I also do like the color. I know they list it as cold white, but to me, it's just a clean white light that allows for good color rendition in the woods. What else do I like about it? I like that you can cycle through the different light levels with a just a gentle tap on the end of the flashlight. It works very well. Having said that though, I do have some comments about the tail cap operated light that applies to my use of it and it may not apply to you. And that is that I have difficulty operating the switch with my thumb. No problem operating the switch with my finger, but if I was to use this as I might have when I was on patrol like this, I would have some difficulty because my thumb just will not depress the switch far enough in. Now, this is specific to me because I did give it to my daughter and I did give it to my wife and they have no problems whatsoever operating the tail cap. It's just me and I guess my older, somewhat arthritic hands. Now, having said that, once the light is turned on, I have no problems using my thumb to cycle through the light intensities. The only other one thing I want to say about the tail cap is that it doesn't have a momentary on or off. You can't just slightly depress it to get just a quick shot of light. You do have to turn the light all the way on by a full depression of the switch. And then of course you can cycle through the intensities from there. Now the only other thing I can say negative about the flashlight, and these are all relative points as well, is that while it is a very good looking design on the case, with the knurling and the way the bezel is formed, um, it doesn't provide a whole lot of traction. Now, it provides sufficient traction most of the time, but if you are trying to use it with your thumb like this, it does tend to move a little bit. Again, maybe it's just me, but I find that while attractive looking, it is not as grippy as I would like it to be. Okay, those are my thoughts on the C3 from Wubin. Overall impressions are a very sturdy light with a great light beam, operates well, especially for those who like the tail copper rated switch. Again, I mentioned it's not my preference, but I did want to bring this to you. Of course, I will put all the information, not only where you can purchase the C3 from Wubin, but all of its technical specifications in the show notes below. If you have any questions about the C3 or any comments, please put those in the show notes below. If there are any other flashlights from Lubin that you would like me to review, if they'll offer to send them to me, I'd be happy to do so. All right, that's all I have for now. Get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.